World Cup just passed and I've been so excited. Uh, so I'm sporting one of my favorite teams. Uh, the Netherlands came in third place. Um, I'm very excited. I am a natural born soccer player for all those who think I'm a football player. Uh, I never played a day in my life besides kicking a field goal for fun. So today I want to focus on kind of healthy food since I've been watching these guys run around playing soccer, uh, 45 minutes of countless running. I've really gotten it kind of into my mind about, man, what did I used to love to do to stay in shape? Just eat right. So one of the most popular ingredients with people these days who are trying to stay healthy is quinoa. So you always got different options when you're working with quinoa. Um, I've got some uh, quinoa that I've already cooked ahead of time. I just cook my quinoa in cold water and maybe a bay leaf in the water. What I'm gonna make to go with a chicken breast is a quinoa salad that I'm gonna add some different vegetables and fruits to. Tomatoes look awesome right now. I think that also one of the fresh things to add with it is definitely some green vegetable. And that's why here I've got some broccolini. So marination is key. Planning is what marination means. So my marinade that I've made ahead of time is made out of garlic, shallots, uh, it's got lots of jalapenos in it, it's got lots of cilantro, and even a little bit of lime juice blended all together with canola oil. I take my chicken breast, drop it into a Ziploc bag, marinate it overnight, which means cover the chicken breast in marinade, throw it in the fridge the next day or the next day, hit it with some salt and pepper, cook it, and I've got a delicious chicken breast. How are we going to make the dressing? Where, what are we going to cook the dressing in? How about we use the pan that we cook the chicken breast in? Check it out. This chicken breast that started right before the show got started here, and I went ahead and seared them off in some canola oil, okay? Nothing fancy. Just took those chicken breasts, seasoned them with salt and pepper, and look at there. So now I've got all these nice drippings. i got all that nice liquid that comes out of the chicken once it's cooked. Every time you cook a protein, you have to realize the protein seizes up, it tightens up, and starts to push out its liquid. Well, we want to make sure that we, we capture that. And the way I'm going to capture that and even capitalize on it is I'm going to use this to make my dressing. Right here, I've got some chopped garlic. I'm going to add some chopped garlic to the pan. I'm going to add some shallots to my dressing. See what I got here? Fresh jalapeno. And realize this, Texas boys like us, we keep the seeds in our jalapenos. If you don't like it spicy, then you want to definitely take the seeds out. But right here, we're going to make this one have a little kick. A little bit of punch. So now, all these ingredients here, hot pan. So we're gonna come in here, grab that with a towel. All these ingredients here, we're going to caramelize or just sweat them slightly over low heat for about six minutes. After that, I'm gonna add them to a mixing bowl and then I'm gonna begin making my vinaigrette. You know, we always wanna have that punch, kinda of like a, a Julia Child said. You want, you want that vinaigrette to have some bite to it, you know? So I'm gonna use a very delicious, uh, very delicious vinegar here, okay? Citrus Champagne Vinegar by O Brand, excellent products, okay? The whole line of O, o Vinegars are amazing. So I'm gonna add this as one of the acidities to this, and I'm also gonna back that up with a little bit of fresh lime juice, okay? I love to use the combination of vinegar and, lime and citrus together. The only other thing we need for that is oil, and here's a very delicious oil that I have. This is a blood orange avocado oil. So that made me get your mind thinking on saying, hey, I want to add some avocado to this. Go right ahead. Uh, the avocado helps to give this uh, flavor profile a little bit more density. It's obviously a lot more richer. Chicken breast in. So this, I want to go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. Man. That's what I'm talking about. Got the activation of saliva glands. This is always a good thing. So to that, I'm going to come in here, just add some of this to your salad. I'm gonna save a little bit to put on the outside. Now that my dressing's in, I'm gonna add my fresh cilantro. Just gonna give it a rough chop. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Don't go hard, don't try to, if you wanna leave the mint leaves whole, you can. But just do these last minute. It just helps to make the dish that much more brighter. If you make this ahead of time and you add the leaves, they're gonna turn brown. Toasted almonds, love it. Some of you may be sitting there going, you know what, you can keep the chicken breast, just give me a big old bowl of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think of the same thing. If you want to mix this up about 10 minutes ahead of time before serving, it might be a good idea. Give the quinoa a little bit of a, a chance to absorb. But then to that, I'm just gonna add, see that pretty color? Looks like Christmas, baby. 
So we're gonna add a little bit of this quinoa rice to the bottom. If you want to serve this in a bowl, I totally get it. Some of you already are saying, I'm just gonna eat this out of a bowl because it looks delicious. All right, chicken breasts, looking delicious right here. Whoo, baby, moist, delicious looking. So that's what I call perfectly cooked chicken right there. Okay, nice and still looking juicy. I can come in here and I can hit this with a little bit more of my dressing right over the top of the chicken. Come around the outside, make sure that we have enough of that dressing so that that quinoa salad can catch it when someone's scraping off the side of the plate. And even that chicken now has a little bit of that amazing citrus, jalapeno, garlic flavor. It's time to eat, baby. <laughs>